quarantine ain't over yet? <sighs> what am I? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do now? Welcome to the Blackologist. So it's summertime and you're probably wondering, will I ever get to see my curls popping at Curlfest or parade myself at Afropunk, see a black joy? Well, the answer to that is probably not this year, but I do have seven melanin friendly resolutions for replacing some of your most prized life activities during this quarantine. I am the Blackologist, here to provide melanated tips and tricks to help you live your very best life by any means practical. Before we start the show, I would just like to give a very big shout out to my homegirl from the Bronx, Stephanie Styles, that did my beautiful goddess locks. I have been talking about these goddess locks that I wanted for I don't know how many summers now and I'm just so 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 excited uh, that I finally got them done so if you ladies are looking for a summer protective style or anything to just switch it up uh, definitely check out Stephanie Styles I linked her information below in the bio uh, so thanks again Steph and hope you guys have more protective styles that you enjoy that you can share with me too so it seems like one big hit to sisterhoods during quarantine is brunch the fact that we can't connect and have our mimosas on call and listening to our favorite karaoke chat if you ever went to those type of brunches. Uh, and I know y'all miss that because I know I do too. I miss y'all. But with restaurants closed, what can you do? Well, I found a trendy solution to fix our brunch problems. Number one way to replace brunch is to check out this really cool organization. It's called The Layout. The Layout is a community organization that creates moments for us by us to reclaim space, time, energy, and most importantly, to reclaim each other in our continued fight for justice. So if you ladies are looking for a way to serve justice, and enjoy time with your girls definitely check out the layout they have been in a few cities i know they were in new york um dc and i know that they may be doing some other things another option is diy your own brunch if you can't go to the restaurant let the restaurant come to you have each friend bring an item and you can still brunch and lunch with just a little space six feet to be exact okay the next thing that i have is the and game now, I don't know if you guys have heard of this game. This is a dope game, okay? The company is called The Skin Deep. I've left the link below uh, in the description, and you guys definitely check this out. There's a Friends edition, but the edition that I actually did was the couple edition, and it is real. I would suggest if you guys are home with Bay or someone you're trying to get to know, uh, or if you have friends like your girls that you still wanna hang out with and have your brunch time, this game is an all around. They have different editions, uh, as you guys will see on the site, and I recommend this because it really helped all different groups I had during quarantine just really get to know more about each other. Number two, fitness. Yes, ladies, replacing the gym was real for me, and I'm sure it has been for you as well. I know that it's hard to get motivated, especially if you don't have a separate place to go to the gym. With gyms closed, I know that the struggle has been especially real with limited options to get fit or even to get motivated to get fit. Some suggestions for getting motivated is taking matters into your own sweet hands. Okay, this is my favorite equipment to work with, resistant bands. For y'all that are trying to get this layer right back here, like right down there, this is the trick. You just pull, and stretch and pull 
and strip. For those of you that are trying to get this area tighter, these resistant bands are gold. Inspired by Andia Winslow and Miss Jeanette Jenkins. They help you to get a full bite size workout routine that's perfect for your bedroom or living room space. I found that jumping rope, shadow boxing, and using resisting bands are great ways to firm and tighten the areas that affect our bodies the most. Number three, malls. Malls are closed. Shopping has completely changed for me, for you, for everybody. So what is a melanin solution for shopping? This quarantine, I think that you should try changing your buying habits. I know we, and yes, I'm adding y'all in for the count. I know that we collectively are hooked on Amazon because of the price and the convenience. But have you checked out webuyblack.com? Since I'm here to spread resources to enhance your beautiful melanated life and help our community progress forward, supporting businesses like these really help to do that. So do it! Let's put our collective money where our mouth is, so to speak. This is not a paid ad, by the way. I'm just helping us all to grow. Number four, entertainment. It feels like ever since the corona hit, you know what I mean? It's like, I wanna go to, you know, a live event. Did you not get the memo? It's closed. We closed, we closed, we closed. That's how I feel. So what entertainment options could the Blackologist possibly have for you? Don't worry, I got you. Have you seen the Versus Battle on Instagram, child? I done got my whole life and a half. I am talking about on Instagram, the battle versus between some of the greatest hip hop, R&B, and soul, and, <laughs> and reggae artists throughout the African diaspora. It has been amazing, summer has been lit, and if you have not gotten your life, you need to go check it out. For your entertainment pleasure, the Black just has the verses to check out. Now, on to video on demand. I know y'all over there chilling, watching Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, damn Disney Plus. But I challenge you to think and try something different. There is a platform that is called Kawili TV. Kawili TV is an interactive streaming platform. It celebrates the African diaspora experience, community, and culture through dope, undiscovered documentaries, films, web shows, children programming, and news, and more. The founder, Deshauna Spencer, says the inspiration for Kawili TV came one evening while flipping through what she felt like 100 cable channels back in 2012 and was frustrated with the same tired stereotypes, lack of diversity in TV shows and movies, as well as the few choices of content that focused on issues important to me, as she stated. I am all about changing the narrative. And in order for us to change the narrative, we have to change and tell the story. So check it out, Kawili TV. It allows you to see more stories about us. Number five, personal care. Can we have a moment of silence for all of our forgotten eyebrows, hair stubbles, and things that we can't remove ourselves? Okay. I just wanted to apologize to all females because the salons have been closed. Our hair feels abandoned because it's just like, it's just out here. I mean, it's just out here, you know? It's hard, it's hard. It's really hard, it's really hard. But I've got a solution for at least your skin regimen. It involves literally one ingredient and going to your grocery store simple and all right y'all i am gonna show you what to do with this this is an aloe leaf okay so basically you take the aloe open it all right and you can even like go over it with your finger um what's gonna happen is you're gonna actually let it sit on your face for five to seven minutes. This is no makeup, so no makeup. And speaking of another way to practice self-care, Jasmine Marie, founder of Black Girls Breathing, 
answers why breathwork is such a powerful tool. She says, our nervous system holds on to trauma. Trauma doesn't live in the mind, it lives in the body. You can think of traumatic experiences and your body immediately starts responding. Breathwork is a tool to help relax the adrenaline system and ease chronic stress. Women need this tool. Black women need this tool. So definitely check Jasmine out at Black Girls Breathing and have a deep breath. Number six, food. Y'all, I love to eat. I do, who doesn't, but I really love to eat. You know, I enjoy cooking, I enjoy eating. I think we all kind of do. What better way to try a new recipe or maybe perfect an old one? During this time of quarantine, we have had to take to the kitchen since dining restaurant options are unavailable. This led me to serving up some of my traditional home foods from the Caribbean. I'm so excited y'all, the ancestors will be proud of your girl and my mama because I made the traditional Guyanese roti and curry. Yes, yes, I did. What was so cool about this was that I felt more connected to my heritage and roots. By recreating meals and others like this, I was really inspired to look at other meals from the diaspora. I looked at Caribbean meals, I looked at African meals, traditional African meals, and I looked at Southern cuisine meals. And look into one of the chefs that I added below. Each represents one of those cuisines and uh, it's really cool. Let me know if you guys try any of the recipes and how it came out. I'm really excited to know. Finally, number seven, travel. <laughs> it's very hard that this corona has stopped that one thing that I love the most. So I do have a suggestion for you. They say like what, 80% of the thrill of traveling isn't actually when you get there, but it's the planning and the preparing. Definitely keep planning. Since the pandemic, High Spirits has been taking travelers on virtual tours, highlighting a new destination every day. Viewers even say that the virtual tours have helped their mental health as they cannot physically travel themselves. A typical virtual travel experience with High Spirits starts out with you virtually boarding an airplane, not initially knowing where you'll be heading to. You'll then learn where you'll be transported to that day and the stories feel so realistic, you'll think you're actually there because eventually we will be able to go and you'll want to have all of your tours and plans set up in advance. Also, I left a nice little list of some black travel sites that you guys can follow on Instagram, seeing beautiful melanated people happy to be celebrated abroad and to be just normal abroad. And that's just a really nice thing. All of my resources and all the tips and tricks that I added today are at theblackologist.com. Don't forget to check it out. Finally, you don't have to sit in doom or gloom. Spice it up with the seven things that you heard from today's show and leave a comment below. Let me know if you tried any of them or if you have any other ones that weren't on the list. As I close the show, I just wanted you to remember that you are not alone and I never want you to feel like you are alone. Whoever you are, wherever you are, know that I'm sending love and light your way always. Thanks for watching y'all. This is The Blackologist signing off. Always reminding you to be smart, be safe, and be well. See you next time. Bye.